Hey, hey, how you doing? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all's going well and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today we're going to learn an acoustic version of the song One Headlight by the Wallflowers. This is from their uh, second studio record, Bringing Down the House, 1997. Really fun song to play on one acoustic guitar. Now we're going to be in standard tuning, so go ahead and tune your guitars low to high, E, A, D, G, B, and E. But it's important to note that on the original recording, there's guitars in a few different tunings. There's a guitar that's in drop D tuning. Uh, there's also a guitar in open G tuning. And there's a couple of guitars in standard tuning. And you're probably saying, well, why would you have in the same song so many guitars in different tunings? Well, my guess would be, you know, one of the things it might do is help the arrangement be a bit more jangly sounding, especially in the open tunings with those open chords, as well as, you know, the open tuning could accommodate the slide guitar and there's some slide in this song. And another reason is with the alternate tunings, you know, it kind of, expands the the sonic you know edges of the guitar so you can get some lower notes in there than standard and some higher notes like when the song starts off and they hit that first note that's a low d from the guitar being in drop d tuning definitely you hear that low d string um, so we're going to play something similar but we're going to be in standard tuning and as you'll see the song is based off of this one progression so you get this one progression down and then a couple other little things in between you'll have most of the song it's in 4-4 time and you don't want to rush it it's it's not fast it's like moderate speed about 108 beats per minute and it's in 4-4 time and you're only going to need seven chords to play this song so let me show those to you you're going to need d major g major you need f sharp seventh uh b minor You'll need A major. You're gonna need an A7 sus4. Uh, so if you don't know that one from an A major, leave your first finger down, take off your other two, and add your pinky, or you could use your third finger on that D note on the B string of the third fret. A7 sus4. And you're also gonna need an E minor seven. And if you got a second, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep the content coming, as well as then you'll be notified when we have new lessons coming up, and I have a lot of good ones, so I don't want you to miss them. So go ahead and subscribe, and also please leave a comment below. Let us know how you like this lesson, what lessons you'd like to see coming up in the future. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up, and thank you so much for your support. So the song starts off with the intro with some single notes being played on one of the guitars in drop D tuning, and then the chords will come in. Um, there's some keyboard parts, but basically we're gonna put all that together for one guitar. We're gonna play a little lick a couple times like they do on the record, and then we'll come in with the chords and start strumming, and the intro will go right into verse one. Let me play it first, and then I'll break it down and explain it. This is how I would do something like this. Right into verse one. And that verse one is, uh, so long ago, I don't remember when, that's when uh, they say I lost my only friend. Okay, so in the intro, we're gonna play this little guitar lick. Right, now we're playing it in standard tuning, so we don't have the low D, but how we're, uh, how we're kind of emulating that is I'm playing the open D string first. I'm holding a D major chord, open D string, then open A string. Then take your first finger off the D chord and hammer from uh, the open G to the second fret G. So you get this. And he plays that twice. And I hit the whole chord. And then we start strumming it. Um, now the strum pattern we're gonna use for this and a lot of the song is just down, down, up, up, down, up. Eighth note feel. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and down, down, up, up, down, up. That strum works really well. We can mix it up a little bit with arpeggiating and I'll show you that in another part of the song. Um, so basically what you're gonna play is, uh, once you play those licks, right, twice, then you come in with that D chord and you're gonna strum that for two measures or two times through the strum to the G, to the D, F sharp seventh, B minor, A. Okay, now what you do there is, and that's gonna be, this progression is kind of 
runs throughout the whole song. And every time you go to that B minor to A change, you're gonna have to do down, down, up on the B minor, and then A, down, down, up. So the strum pattern just on those two chords is down, down, up, down, down, up. So on the B minor, down, down, up, change to A, down, down, up. Right? And then you go back to the G, full strum, full measures, D, F sharp seventh, and then again, B minor, down, down, up, A, down, down, up, into the first verse with the G chord. Now, verse one and two are the same. You're gonna play that same progression that we kind of did in the intro. You're gonna play G, D, F sharp seventh, and then a quick B minor to A, and he does that twice. And he does that in verse one and in verse two. So let me play the verse for you. Verse one will sound like this. And that's uh, so long ago. Here's a quick change. Then you repeat it. Okay, then it goes to the G chord and there's a little what we're going to call an interlude where it's just the instrumental and in this interlude is played again later after the chorus and again later after the chorus later on in the song um, and that musical interlude is the same progression remember I said you're going to be playing this progression a lot G D F sharp seventh B minor to A quick change okay but kind of maybe what you could do to mix it up and to give it a little variance is I would play it like this. Let me play that little interlude for you. Right into verse two, I see the sun coming up at the funeral at dawn. All right, so all I did there uh, for that interlude is on each chord, G, D, F sharp seventh, I would go down, down, up, up, down, up. Same strum pattern, but on the ups, I'm just hitting the high E string and then the B. So you get on the G chord, down, down, up high E, up B. And then a down, up. And it doesn't have to be exact. Like maybe you could even hit the high two strings and then maybe the, the next high two strings. Just so you're getting that little difference in sound to make it a little bit more interesting. Same thing on the D. Same thing on the F sharp seven. Then you gotta do that fast change. Verse two. Now, if you're having trouble with the bar chords in this song, like that B minor chord or that F sharp seventh, if you're having trouble playing those chords or maybe changing to them, I could really help you with that. Tell you what, click on the link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you my killer video lesson and ebook on essential bar chord playing and changing techniques. It's a killer video lesson. It's extended play. It's not on YouTube. And it'll really get your bar chord playing and changing blasted to the next level. It's filled with technique tips, exercises. The ebook has more exercises in it. Um, more uh, chord charts. So it's a great one-two combination. I'll send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. I see the sun coming up at the funeral of dawn. Verse two, same exact changes as verse one. But at the end of that, you're gonna play uh, this chord change. It's basically a G to F sharp seventh, uh, two measures each, because that's gonna go right into the chorus. Uh, so let me play all of verse two for you. It'll sound like this, right? I seen the sun coming up, funeral at dawn. Repeat it. Now G chord twice. F sharp seven, two times, two measures. Hey, this is where he does that hey, and it goes right into the chorus. So he says hey, um, and then right into the chorus, which is come on try a little, nothing is forever. Now the chorus, you could use the same strum pattern, uh, and those chords are G, come on try a little, D, nothing is forever, then E minor 7th, gotta be something A, better than in the middle, then G, me and Cinderella, D again, uh, put it all together, uh, E minor 7th, we could drive it home, A, so basically you do that same progression twice, but then you're gonna play an A 7 sus 4 with one head light. And on the light, you change to a G because then you play the interlude again. G, D, F sharp seventh, B minor to A, right into verse three. She said it's cold, it feels like Independence Day. 
All right, so let me play the chorus for you, and it'll sound like this. Uh, right up from that, come on, uh, try a little. Verse 3, she said it's cold, it feels like Independence Day, I can't break away from this parade. All right, so you're all the way into verse 3, but you're seeing how it's a lot of the same progression, just repeated, 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 right? Now, verse 3 and 4 are different than verse 1 and 2. Verse 1 and 2, you play the progression twice. In verse 3 and 4, you're playing the progression four times. Uh, that's the only difference. Um, and at the end of verse 3, uh, basically, uh, just below her window ledge, where it goes down, down, up, down, down, up, you do the same thing that you did at the end of verse 2, where you play the G chord twice, F sharp 7 twice, and then he's like, hey, 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 right? He extends the hey, but it's just two measures on the G, two measures on the F sharp 7, this is the end of verse 3, and that goes right into another chorus. Same exact changes though. Uh, all the choruses are pretty much the same. Come on, try a little, nothing lasts forever. Now right after that chorus, um, after verse three, you go back to the interlude again where you're playing that G, D, F sharp seven, B minor to A, but you do that this time twice. So you play those chords twice, one measure each, and then the fast change, B minor to A. And that goes right into verse four. Uh, well, this place is old, it feels like a beat up truck. Verse four is very similar to verse three. You play that progression four times. And then that goes into the hey, hey, hey's, but that goes right into uh, you repeat the chorus after verse four. Come on, try a little. Um, and then that goes into the outro of the song. And the outro of the song is just this progression. It's just G, D, E minor seven to A, one measure each. And he plays that a couple times and then the song fades out. So I would end it like this. I would do the G, minor seventh, A, Let's go again, G, D, E minor seventh, A, maybe start slowing it down, G, probably ending on the D, D chord, everything's pulling to that D, right? Um, and that would end the song like that. All right, so I'll tell you what, let's do a little play along so you could see how all these parts attach together. Um, we'll just play through like half the song because it's just a lot of the same, that same progression repeated throughout the verses. Uh, but I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll mix the strum up at various points. I'll do the arpeggiating, I'll do the full strum. I'll even throw in a new strum pattern too. So I'll mark all the strum patterns down. I'll play the intro, I'll go right into verse one, play the interlude, verse two, uh, play the chorus the other interlude, and then I'll start verse three and, and uh, play along, and uh, it'll sound like this, maybe.
Henry. So much for tuning into this lesson really fun song to play on one guitar have some fun with it put your own spin on it don't forget subscribe to the channel because that really helps us to keep the content coming and as well as you'll be then uh notified when we have new lessons up and also if you want help with your bar chords click on that link in the youtube description box below i'll send you my video lesson killer essential bar chord technique playing and changing uh video it's packed with exercises technique tips it's paired with an ebook more chord charts more lessons more exercises it's really cool it's not on youtube click below i'll send them both to you for free and if you got a second um also i just dropped a new record with my original band mind cell we're based out of san diego california i think it's a slamming record i'm really stoked about it and i would love for you to hear it it's streaming on all the platforms i'll put links to it in the youtube description box below but check out the record let me know what you think and if you have any questions about maybe the gear i use to get those tones or the studio production or the song structure or anything drop me a line i'd love to hear from you thanks so much for watching this video and thank you so much for your support over the years and years stay tuned i got tons of great stuff coming have fun with those guitars keep up all that hard work and remember your guitar playing is an evolution so take care enjoy the journey rock on and i'll see you in the next lesson